When you were in Athens playing, is it true that you would play on, uh, you would play in the games, and then, like, after the games, you would go kick people's asses in well, karate? Yeah, yeah, on Sundays, I would play on Saturdays, go to church Sunday morning, go fighting martial arts tournaments Sunday afternoon. So I did that the three years I was So when you when did you start uh, your mixed martial arts career, like as a kid? Well, you know, I, I hate to say I started the mixed martial arts because uh, I did the Taekwondo tournament, and uh, Taekwondo and mixed martial arts are a little bit different. Different. You got it. But I was, I was fighting at that time, which is the Taekwondo, and I started doing Taekwondo when I was in high school. What did your coaches high? think when you were going? Did they know you were going and kicking people in the well, face on at Sundays? First, at first, they didn't know. And later, uh, you got in trouble. Well, I did get in trouble. They called me to meet with the coach, and uh, the thing I told the coach is, I said, "You know, coach, I grew up in a small town in Wrightsville, and I said I remember running running track with no shoes on, and not one person ever told me don't do it. I may cut my feet." I said, I remember I was, used to climb up on my parents' home, jump off like I'm GI Joe. <laughs> not one person ever said, "Hersh, don't do that. You may break, break your arm." And I said, "You guys came out and recruited me because you wanted this wild, crazy person." I said, if that's what you want, let me do what I do, and that's what you'll get. And at that time, not another coach ever said another word to me. <laughs> they let me do my own type of working out. And, you know, I've always tested better than most people. You were training have. with Kane Cormier, what, at AKA? And at AKA. were you living in a hotel? In, in that, a hotel. So you, and, uh, like, you went and lived in a hotel, and then every day for, like, 15 hours a day, you would train with these I monsters? Trained. Yes, I trained. And what did they day. do for you? Did they... Uh, well, they, well, they beat the crap out of me. Did, did it help really you get better? It made me get better because the thing is, is... uh, and, and What did they think that them. they were fighting with you? Uh, you know, at first they thought it was going to be a joke because they, you know, my name's Herschel Walker. I'm coming in. They thought, right. you know, what is he doing here? But, you know, every, three days a week, in AKA, they, they, they spar. Well, when I stepped into the cage with Kane, they spar my first time. You know, Kane didn't take it easy. He punched me in the face. He kicking me and all this. And, and, you know, I kept coming back. And that's when the guy started giving me the respect. And then after a couple of weeks, I, you know, I started punching everybody else in the face, kicking them. And people said, this kid is real. And that's, what I, and that's what I tell people today. I said, guys, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't care what type of athlete I was. There's absolutely no way I could have walked off that football field. There's no way a player today can walk off a football field, walk into a cage, right. and beat an MMA fighter. And do there's, that. There's no way he can do it. It is it's just too technical. I think guys it's got brutal. skill. It's brutal. And, you know, everyone want to be a fighter until they get hit in until the face. Until they get hit in the face or yeah. until they close that door. That's exactly right. And you find out what kind of a man you well, are real quick. You really are real quick. 